Alright, now we are going to make a spur gear. So, throw that in here. Same folder. Okay, we'll start with sketch. And a couple circles. First circle is 0 0.75. Next circle is 1.65 and 2.15. Okay, we'll do a hmm. just do a reference line up here. Should be enough. And we'll do a second coming out from the center point like that. Okay, we'll throw a rapid dimension on here. Hmm. Angular. Okay, so that's a 23. So depending on the size of your gear you'll have to kind of calculate what you want this to be in this example we'll do a 12 toothed gear so I've just divided 360 by 12 to get 30 and uh, we're going to draw half a tooth essentially and mirror it so we'll just do half of that calculate that 30 to get 15 for this All right. Um, let's also do a circle at 1.9. I think that may be helpful. Alright, so let's do a circle up here at the intersection of that 1.9. If we can get it to go on there. Okay, so this will just be one quarter to make it easy. Okay, so that was 15, and this is a one quarter circle in there. And let's see if this works. We'll just do a uh, arc here from the sort of the edge of the circle on this side. We'll bring it up to the edge here. Point on. Let's see, which side do I want? Probably that one so we do want it to attach to the outer circle and I'll just bring it up like this so it's kind of similar to that circle shape we drew but it it is tangent to that that circle uh, like that we'll see if that works so yeah just an arc right here attached to this circle and the outside circle up here okay now I can trim away some of this stuff that I don't need. Let's make this a reference. Great. And now we will mirror that. Mirror the curve. So we were in connected curve, so it, it guessed that we wanted this one too, so it just has picked those two. And the center line will be this line that we picked so now it has mirrored these over to this. Okay, that's fine. Guideline, guideline, we can make this a reference to. Alright, now uh, we'll need Sure, this worked right. Looks all right. Looks like those are attached. Okay, so we're gonna need a little cutting guide later. Um, so we'll just make that now attached to this endpoint. Bring it over somewhere like this. I'm just on this endpoint too. Ooh. What are we doing here? All right. Okay, line. 
start point is fine, and then just bring it straight up to here, anywhere, and trim off this extra. Okay, so now we've just got this sort of weird shape we've done, um, and then that's between these circles here. Okay, now let's make this one reference. So we have the inner circle, the outer circle. These will kind of be the inner and outer of our gear, and then the, the tooth shape here. So we can finish that, and we'll extrude this. Actually, let's see if we can do this first. So we'll do a single curve. We'll do the inner one. And then we will also do the outer next. So pick the inner first and then pick the outer. And that way it'll cut out your center, but still draw um, everything else right. Actually, well, we'll just cut that out. Okay, so now we've got, I've just flipped that around, and now we've got our tooth shape. So we'll just cut that out with extrude. Uh, single curve again. Just go through and pick these. Shapes. It's gonna let me do that. Hmm. Okay. Huh. Oops. Okay, I'm not sure why it wasn't letting me pick that before. I guess there's this reference line that it was getting confused about. Hopefully this will work now. It's the same thing, just extrude. I'm just going to pick this uh, profile thing that we just made before. And we'll subtract that out. And we'll go through all. It should be fine. Okay, hopefully that works. Alright. Alright, so there's our tooth shape. So with our shape cut out, we should be able to pattern that feature now. So we'll just go to pattern feature. We'll select that extrude we just made. We'll do a circular pattern. The vector will be um, that center axis of this gear kind of thing, uh, I guess perpendicular to the face of this. And the, the point will be the very center of this. Okay, it is 12, 12 teeth in the gear, and there is 30 degrees between each one, so that should be correct. Okay. Looks, oops, looks good. Okay, so we'll just add a little bit of chamfer to this <clears throat> to make it look a little a little nicer, more realistic. So we'll just turn these off, or hide them, I guess, the things that we just made. Um, the, the last extrusion, the pattern feature, so we'll just have the original extrusion, and we'll chamfer the edge. Select this guy. Let's do asymmetric, um, 1 8 for distance 1, and 1. 132nd for distance 2. So that'll give us this, and we'll do the same thing again for the back. We'll just reverse those to give us our shape, and then we'll turn these back on to give us our teeth. Okay, uh, these just need to drag these up above those last extrudes to put them in there like that. Yeah, close enough. 